I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm basically going over the projects that I worked on, notable events that happened during the year. January 2018, I worked on a desktop application called CineSampler, and this was very interesting. Uh, I got connected through Twitter to a guy in Los Angeles who makes samples of orchestra instruments, like really legitimate orchestra instruments. You can you can check his stuff out at cinesamples.com. So he wanted an app called CineSampler that could stream these instruments that he records and you could preview them. My second son, Justice, turned eight years old. It's crazy that um, he's eight years old. Okay, February, Epic Currents Winter Work Week. I did like a three-day class called Practical Product Design uh, I, I, I made so many slides, slide after slide after slide of, of content for practical product design, kind of like in the UX realm, but just you know designing apps from start to finish, whether it's a large, complicated app for a client or a medium sized project or even little small ones and had a lot of, a lot of fun going through that. I'd love to eventually synthesize that material into an online course one day. Uh, but that was a lot, of, a lot of fun. Big thanks to Dan Petty for having me out to Yosemite. Okay, so back from winter work, re winter work week, I started a new project for a company called Fiberstream in Toronto and kind of helped them do some rebranding and design their back end uh, kind of sign up process for installing uh, basically internet service. That's, that's their main thing. They do internet, they do TV and phone, but anyway, I did that website, launched it. That took a couple of, a couple of months. It was a fairly large project. And then later in March, I worked on an Envision Studio Jam with Envision kind of rolling out studio slowly. It was still in really early beta uh, during that time period. And they asked me to create a studio jam. So I made a, like a running concept kind of prototype, just something for fun to make like a fast paced time lapse. A lot of fun checking out studio for the first time when I did that. I also went on a spring break trip with my family. For me, uh, trips like this and spending time with my family like this, this is like number one priority. And so everything that I'm doing supports. So that's why I put it on the list because we had a great time. I worked on another app in March called Shopper's Choice, which was a very interesting transient product that happens between an advertiser's like ad and a final retailer's website. So this is very interesting uh, interstitial screen where someone might say, yes, I do want to buy five bottles of toothpaste right now. And then you go to this interstitial screen and you can choose to buy it from Amazon, Walmart, or Target, or wherever has the best deal. And then you can choose right from there April, still wrapping up Fiberstream. I went to Creative South 2018 and I gave my practical product design presentation. Uh, a smaller condensed version of that that I did in uh, February with Epicurrence Winter Work Week. Um, and last, okay, last year I did a recap video for 2017 and I left off one of the most, one of the things that I was the most proud of and that app is called Contrast. It's a little tiny app and it comes out and then you can check the color contrast of your text. So you can see we're rocking a triple A score right here. You can flip the colors, see what it looks like. I forgot to include that in the recap. Uh, so I'm gonna include it in this one. Um, Sam Sophus and I worked on that in 2017 and released it and it's been one of my like go-to design tools no matter what software I'm designing in. I'm always checking color contrast. And during that same time, I wrote a, a guide for accessibility for designers to check your contrast in your interface, in your interface designs. And I, I published it on the website, but uh, in April, I published it to Medium to get some more traffic and it was very well received. So I just wanted to put that in there because I forgot to do it last year. And uh, yeah, so contrast. Anyway, moving on, May. May, I got to work with a friend of mine, Anthony Harmon who I'm gonna put somewhere along in here. Um, he reached out to me for some help because he needed, he didn't have enough time to dedicate fully to this project. So him, he and I tackled this iOS and web app called Zipper uh, together, like a two, three, 
two or three week project that we worked on together and um, lots of fun, kind of a complex project startup in the startup world and things were kind of crazy uh, for them timeline wise. But all in all, I'm super excited about the designs we put out and some of the thinking that we put into that product for them. So um, this is also May is when I really started considering applying to the design forward fund. How much time are we? Oh, and I'm only halfway through, gosh. So May, I applied to the Design Forward Fund at Envision and pitched them the idea of creating this full-blown studio course where I was teaching people how to use studio for design and prototyping. And um, I think I bought the domain Learn Studio. That was kind of the main thing. And then they had the domain switch to studio.com. So we ended up using that domain and things started, the conversation started happening. Uh, along in May and June. And also in May, my youngest son, my sweet little tiny baby son, who's no longer a baby anymore, he turned four years old and he is just, uh, gosh, he is the cutest little thing. Right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nixon. Happy birthday to you. I, I love all of my older kids, but there's something sweet about a four-year-old. Okay, June middle of the year, uh, we, me and Maddox, uh, my kind of partner in this co-working space, the niche that we've, we've actually been in this office space, the, the large office space out here. Uh, we've been in here for about a year or so, but only this previous year, early on, we decided, all right, look, let's, let's get this thing organized and official. Uh, we hired someone to help us kind of get things set up. We hired a community manager and we've got probably, I don't know, 15 or so people, some full-time, some part-time that come in. So we've really pushed the niche co-working space. Uh, it's uh, at niche space on Instagram if for whatever reason you feel like following that. And then June, I'm still kind of like coming up with switch to studio ideas, but I'm also talking to Vincent Lemoyne about the Streamline icon set. He had this huge, huge icon set, Streamline 3.0 and he had been kind of like emailing me about possibly doing some work with him and it finally came together uh that we actually i would say like may june and july we were kind of all working on this but i designed and developed the the new marketing site for streamline 3.0 vincent and i kind of collaborated on that and partnered together to launch that thing out into the world we launched it like late July and it's been really really great vincent was amazing to work with very generous and patient with me as I fumbled through all of my coding endeavors. But it worked out great, and I am really excited to have launched that streamlineicons.com. And also, if you go to streamlineicons.com slash free, you can download 300 of the icons for free. There's like a 30,000 icon set, but you can get uh, 300 of them for free by going to that link. I'll put links to everything down below. Okay, moving on to August. I was working more on switchtostudio.com, my oldest son, Noah, turned 11. I cannot believe I've got an 11 year old. My wife turned 36. Okay, Epic Current Summer Revival. This was more of a just come to Epic Currents and hang out. And I, I did kind of like, I, I participated in one of the panels, but Gosh, Dan, Dan Petty, thank you for being so generous, always having me at your events. It means a lot. Okay, September comes, and I'm working hardcore on a Switch to Studio still because I, I videoed, edited, designed, developed the website, all of that stuff. It's a lot of hard work. I also took my family, I kind of had, uh, I was like, I love going to Yosemite, but I was by myself. My wife and four kids were at home. And I was like, man, I, there was nothing I wanted more than my family to be able to experience hiking in Yosemite with me. Um, it wasn't feasible at the time because the kids are in school and there's all these logistics you have to figure out. But anyway, I had the hiking bug when I came back. So we planned a trip to Tacoa Falls, which is just north of Athens here, and took the family on a, like a 
half day hike. Even my four year old like hiked it. It was sweaty. Some of the kids were acting up. I may or may not have screamed at them a little bit, um, standing too close to edges, but a fun time and a fun little uh, adventure. Uh, again, I want to make sure that I am incorporating inv adventures into my family's life as much as I am in any other part of my own personal or professional life. So that was fun. Uh, October rolls around. I'm still working on Twitch to Studio. I actually finished it up close to uh, October and started working on FlowKit version 2.0, which is like a, you just go to useflowkit.com. You can see all about it. I've got I'll put links to that below, but FlowKit is essentially a toolkit to use within Sketch or within Figma to create all of these user flows or content maps, site maps, things like that. Like a bunch of pre-designed curves and points and all of that. I don't want to go into this whole FlowKit pitch, but you can go check it out if you want. Um, my wife and I purchased a new house to renovate. And this has been a huge portion of my attention has gone to uh, coming up with ideas for like renovating the house. It's a 1960s, like one story ranch and there were tons of walls and we wanted to see if we could open it all up and make this cool vaulted ceiling. So I dusted off my SketchUp skills. This is about like the third or fourth project that I've used in SketchUp and it's kind of clunky, hard to figure out at first, at least for what I need to do uh, inside of SketchUp. My dog turned two years old. His name's Salvador. Uh, FlowKit 2.0, uh, I started working, we released Switch to Studio in uh, right after Thanksgiving and, and then I started immediately working on the additional videos because we launched with like four sprints. Each sprint had like videos inside of it pertaining to that topic. And then the deal was I was gonna do an additional five sprints with more videos. So I wanted to go ahead and try to knock that out before the year ended. I also purchased um, some filmmaking gear. I've, already, I've had this camera for a while, but I got a new mic here. I got a better light. I got like an audio recorder down here. Let me see if I can uh, actually record some of this. So yeah, my light right here, new microphone and new little like recorder thing. Anyway, I'm really trying to step up my, uh, I wanna I want to produce more video content, specifically courses, like premium courses that I can create, teach people to do some of the things that I do. And I, I want it to be really high quality. It's really because I care deeply about it and I wanna teach this stuff and I want to make good videos about it. Oh, and Dan Petty came uh, right after Thanksgiving. I think it was the week after Thanksgiving and we worked on a secret video project of his. He's been posting bits and pieces here and there, um, but he's got some really cool stuff coming out and I was very thankful to be a part of what he's doing with his secret Dan Petty project. Uh, I'm not going to say anything else about it because he hasn't really made any announcement about it. He hasn't released it, but um, and okay, December, last month, uh, my daughter turned seven. Birthday, dear Isa. Happy birthday to you. Oh, and I cut her hair. I cut her, I gave her her first short haircut all by myself. I watched some YouTube videos. And uh, at first I cut it into like a weird He-Man mullet by mistake and then I fixed it by cutting it the other way. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, also, my little Yorkie Poo, Oscar, who my wife and I had before we even got married, he was 15 years old. He finally passed away and it was really sad. All of us were kind of around him. My wife and I were actually petting him when he took his last breath. Um, really missed that little guy. He was a special little dog and that was sad. On top of that, uh, I, in the last month, I did a lot of like, we did traveling and family, the holidays, it's hard to get anything substantial done, but I did more work on the house. Uh, I did a little bit of up, updates and things for Vincent on the Streamline stuff, additional switch to studio projects, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that is, gosh, we're at 23 minutes now. Hopefully this got edited down to much shorter and a much more watchable video, but that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Actually, I'll just let this run. Let this run for 20 seconds. You always gotta leave like 20 seconds at the end of these videos. So you can have these like a little, uh, you know, click my face to subscribe thing. And then your two videos right here. So I'll just let it go.